so we're here with Yukimi from Little Dragon, um, reporting for Barcelona City FM. Welcome, Yukimi. Thank you very much for coming and speaking to us. Um, you're obviously about to perform tonight at Sona by Night. This isn't the first time you played at Sona. You played at no. Sona by Day, right? Yeah. I think it's the third time. Is it the third time? If I'm not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and what can we ex expect tonight? Obviously, you're going to be presenting your new album, um, Season High. Mm -hmm. And then any other kind of new ec ec things that we can expect from you guys? Um, I think we're just going to try to have a really good time and bring lots of energy yeah. and uh, make people dance. <laughs> because you actually have an amazing stage presence. Um, how do you kind of get into it before you go on stage? Um, uh, it varies, but uh, usually I just like give a proper high five with the guys and um, jump around a little bit, maybe listen to some of my favorite songs, sometimes in my headphones, and then just go for it. And um, you guys have obviously been um, performing together for a really, really long time. Um, this project that we're doing at Sonar is about women in Sonar and giving females um, representation. Right. Um, do you feel that, um, that, that women working in electronic music um, it's harder for them. Do you think, because you've had a support network with the guys and stuff, do you think it's been mm. easier than someone that was going solo? Or do you think that it's been the same? Have you ever had kind of, you know, issues and things because you've been a, a woman? Mm. Um, I definitely think it's probably harder if you're by yourself, on your own. You know, there's always pressure coming from different directions, you know. Um, but... Yeah, I've had a lot of support, you know, with the guys and the band, and definitely there have been situations where, you know, you kind of go, hmm, you know, they asked me this question, but they didn't ask the guys, or, you know. So, um, yeah, I think uh, sometimes you don't even notice those little subtle things, but, but yeah, definitely, I think there are those moments where I, as a woman, can tell that, you know, okay, this is, they're asking me specifically this, or I'm in this situation because of that, so, yeah. Okay, cool. And um, your your kind of um, visual side with all your videos and stuff um, is uh, amazing. They're amazingly produced. How much kind of um, input do you have into the creative process of your of your videos? Um, well, we have had a lot of input. You know, I think with certain albums, we've been so locked into the music. So sometimes you kind of like spend you know, a certain amount of time just like so into the music and suddenly you're like, oh my gosh, I have to think about videos and artwork and da 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 and, But for this album, uh, for Season High specifically, we worked with a guy called Ossian Meling, mm -hmm. who's like a Swedish uh, director from our city. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so it was really cool. In the family. Yeah, yeah. That Amazing. was really, really important for us. Yeah. And um, do you think that, obviously, the, the, there's a whole part of Sonar Festival um, with Sonar Plus D, which is um, this year kind of focusing on VR and, and, mm. and, and those kind of specialities. Right. Do you think you would kind of branch out into that kind of like more techie side for some of your videos come, like going forward into the future? Um, yeah, why not? Who knows? Like we really like to keep it open, you know? It's really about the creativity first. If you meet someone, you have certain vibe with each other and yeah. you like each other's work, definitely. Yeah, there, we don't have any sort of boundaries in what kind of, you know, um, visuals we are going to have for the future, so, yeah. Amazing. And um, in, in terms of, like, women who inspire you right now or, or even throughout when you've been kind of growing up and, right. and evolving, who would you say your kind of top two female artists are? Oh, uh, that's three. a uh, top three. Okay, um, just um, straight off of my head right now, I'd say... Kate Bush, Stevie Nicks, and Grace Jones. Oh, wow, that was quite like three de definitive. <laughs> Grace Jones actually played at Primavera recently. I didn't, okay. I wasn't here, but oh, apparently man. it was amazing. Yeah, 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 I can imagine. She's and, and you're kind of also like, you're very much into like the whole fashion. I think a lot of people have asked you this, like you're into fashion. I've, I've worked in fashion before this. Um, what, kind, what kind of designers inspire you? Who, who, would you? who do you kind of look to for inspiration? Mm in the kind of fashion side of things. Right. Um, well, we work with a Swedish designer also from our city. Amazing. So, yeah, who's um, 
actually amazing and just uh, that's why I want to like say her name so often but her name is Saina Kunovard and she's uh, done a lot of our stage clothes um, for uh, for live and she's yeah she's from Gothenburg she's just amazing so it's really nice to kind of work with the designer where you, you meet them yeah. and you have it's not you know just someone sending you something from their collection. You know, it's a real creative process. Personal. Um, yeah, personal. That's important. You know, yeah. I don't care about brands, whatever. Who cares? It's about, it should be really about the expression and what it means and what it says, yeah. Exactly. And um, we obviously have been working with, you know, the, and speaking to a lot of the female artists that have been performing. Do you think that Sonar is really re representing... Um, Females working in electronic music, from like kind of the, the people that they've got on, com like kind of compared to the amount of, of males that they have performing. I mean, I think there are a lot of females in electronic music, uh, probably more than what you see in like rock music and you know a lot of other genres. So yeah, I think it's like a great platform for a lot of the women to step up and, and be seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we obviously female artists are still kind of the least percentage at a lot of festivals and some right. some festivals don't even have maybe one or two uh, yeah. at least sonar's got crazy. like you know quite a lot of, right. of, of uh, not just in not just the the, the artist but also within the sonar <laughs> plus d which is all the tech side i mean that's important like i, I i'd say definitely like you know seeing women on stage and especially like singing is you know kind of more of the norm than seeing a woman at the mixing table you know being a tech you know at the lights i mean you want to see the women doing the boards like i love seeing that and unfortunately it's not as often but more of that i would love to see and uh, yeah i think i've seen some women around but i think we can do better for sure yeah i mean i think also i think women are, uh, uh, and girls especially as they, they're coming kind of through the university and deciding what they want to do I, for example, would be so overwhelmed with being in a, in a university full of guys doing all the right. techie stuff. I, right. Do you think that we need to kind of encourage more, more girls to kind of study the tech and creative side or go into sound engineering or go into those kind of um, jobs? I mean, I definitely think that we should, but I think it goes both ways. You know, you, know, you want to see more... Uh, men working in the daycares and being teachers and so yeah I think I think we need to both work on both sides there for sure okay cool and um, just kind of a last couple of funny questions I hope you don't yeah. mind me asking um, what would be your top two tracks to go party to like what would you like to hear when you're out and you're like ah, raving or not oh. maybe not raving that's a difficult one because it's there's just so many different tracks that, um, but yeah, just uh, at this moment, I definitely say um, I would die for you with Prince is a favorite. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, gosh, I mean, I love craft work, you know, maybe like, um, I mean, if someone played craft work at the dance floor, I'd be very happy. I don't know, Sex Objects, great song. I might be the only one dancing. <laughs> And um, who else are you looking forward to seeing at Sona? I don't know if you're staying tomorrow, um, or if you're leaving, or who who would you who do you, after you finish tonight? Who are you going to go <coughs> and see and rave out to? Um, gosh, like usually I see what's bef on before us and after, and I don't get That's as it. much time as I'd like to go see. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we just uh, met DJ Shadow at the catering. I'd love to see his show. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then, do you have a favorite dragon? Favorite dragon. Um, that would have to be the little dragon. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Yukimi, for coming down and speaking to us. And go, girl, and enjoy your performance. And if there's anything else you'd like to say to anyone, to um, all the girls working, going into the music industry, like... Oh... I'd say for all the girls going into the music industry, I'd say uh, don't be intimidated by anyone. Um, sky's the limit. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. It's been Yukimi from Little Dragon, Boston City FM.